234 dispatch. Can I get a 28 on a Minnesota license? It's going to be Minnesota license Edward Adam 0885. If you want to be the best, you have to be trained by the best. And that is exactly what we have with our instructors. I'm Steve Kovacic, PPOE Program Coordinator of the Hibbing Community College Law Enforcement Program. All of our instructors maintain their certifications, whether it's with the FBI, DEA, BCA, FLETC, or even the esteemed Blackwater Training Center. Our cadets are trained to be part of a family, the Blue Family. We are also overseen by the Post Board. Now the Post Board governs all of the institutions across Minnesota, but they're the minimums that have to be met. That has never set well with us at Hibby. We train above and beyond what is expected of all the officers. We train them again to be the best that they possibly can be. This room is dedicated strictly for the defensive tactics that the cadets are going to be learning over the course of their two-year program here. Our program entails a number of different entities that we have culminated the defensive tactics program from. We have at least four that we have taken the best of the best. And what we have done is make a buffet-style defensive tactics program. Because what works for me isn't going to work for you, and vice versa. So they're taught a number of different tactics but when it comes to test time, they mark on their test the different categories of what they think is gonna work best for them. Hi, I'm Brent Bradley. I'm one of the law enforcement instructors here at Hibbing Community College. One of the classes I teach is called CSP, or Crime Scene Processing. As you can see behind the picture here, Here's a bunch of the equipment we use. Um, show the kids how to do everything from uh, lifting prints with dusting powder, uh, making tool impression marks, uh, taking footprints uh, in mud or snow, how to package every type of evidence there is from money to blood, uh, how to package it safely so it stands up to the chain of evidence and is allowed into court. Everything will be all right. What's going on? For my best friend. What's your friend's name? Right now. Nice. Right. Behind me is the training simulator room, which is the beefed up version of the old FAT system. The computer generated system has many, many different scenarios that we can even include our own if we wish. They have different outcomes. So if a cadet has seen one of the programs before, we can throw a different twist. This time the subject complies. Another time he produces a gun or a knife. Knife! All kinds of different things that are all digitally interfaced with the program. We have a number of different firearm platforms. This is a Glock 19. We also have a Glock 17. We trade them out every two to three years. And it is also equipped with night sights. One of the other platforms we have is the Mossberg 12 gauge shotgun. We also have Remington 870s. We put this into our arsenal because it is user friendly for left and right hand shooters as of where the safety is located. The programs that we follow are trained by Blackwater operators all across the world and include the shooting drills that they have been trained in. One of the final classes that the cadets take in their two-year program is called police operations. It all comes to a final uh, two days of training where they're actually going to work a six-hour shift in the squad car going from call to call uh, for their six-hour shift and they'll do that twice at the end of this semester. Forty-four years, 7,000 students becoming officers in not only the state of Minnesota, but every other state in the nation, including one out-of-state city where it employs nothing but Hibbing grads, boasts of what we are capable of. 
If you wish to be part of this family, please set up a tour, see what we're about. Come and talk to us at the Hibbing Community College.